Today, Lewis and I are going to talk about some of the features that are built into Kingston's SSD that extend the life of, uh, of an SSD. I think one of the number one questions we still get when we're out in the field is, how long is the SSD going to last? Yep. And what we're finding is, uh, you know, different uh, SSD manufacturers implement uh, their endurance features um, uh, in, in different manners. And today, Lewis and I are going to talk about how we do it here at Kingston. And Durarite is uh, the, the technology that we use internally uh, on our drives uh, to extend the life of, of the SSD. Yeah, I mean Durarite, right? I mean, one of the things we, you know, we're finding out is, you know, most of the data that we deal with, right, day in and day out, is very compressible, right? You know, I, I think early on, you know, when MLC NAND was in its 10K and then 5K range, you didn't have to worry about things like that, but we're down to 3K product now, right? 3,000 programming race cycles, and so that is gonna shorten, you know, the, the total life of the SSD. One of the ways to lengthen that, essentially, is to compress that data. So we have a compression engine, right, built on our SSD that will compress data on the fly. So, you know, it, it's kind of twofold. You get more performance right out of it because if the data is compressible and I'm gonna write half the amount, then my writes are gonna speed up twice as much. But even more important, it's a way to extend NAND life, right? If, again, with typical MLC NAND at 3000 P cycle, if I can reduce the amount of writes to that, I can turn that into virtually a 5K NAND product, essentially, right? And so we're offering that to our customers now. So DuraWrite, to me, is all about being able to compress that workload and minimize flash writes. The performance thing is kind of like a, like a byproduct, almost. A side effect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So essentially what you're saying is uh, we're actually writing less to the SSD uh, than what's coming from the host. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, like I said, you know, we're, we're talking about the difference between, you know, kind of host writes and flash writes, right? So maybe during a file copy, you know, Windows thinks that I sent 10 gigs to the drive. If that data is very compressible, we effectively could write five gigs in, to the drive instead, essentially kind of doubling that, that, that NAN life. And so, yeah, again, I, I think it's a really big deal. Again, you know, we, we talked about it as lithography continues to shrink. And next year we're talking about TLC, right? At 2K and 1K PE cycle, compression is going to be huge. And I think that's where DuraWrite is really, really nice. The nice thing, I, I think the, the greatest thing about it is not many controller guys can do it, you know, and our SSDs are making that happen. Oh, yeah. Because of uh, the way NAND uh, writes to the flash itself, we actually increase the number of writes due to how we have to uh, write to a block. I mean, essentially, right, like I said, if I can compress those writes, right, on my own desktop, right, and it, it's typical email, browsing the web, you know, all the stuff that we do in the office, you know, my, my WAF or write amplification factor is less than one. So I'm, I'm actually, most of the data that I deal with in a day is very compressible. Now that varies from you know from customer to customer. You know, guys that are working in video and, 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 and photography, things like that, the Photoshop guys, they they may have a little bit um, there might be the, the data might be a little less compressible, but I would say day in and day out, you know, the average consumer, you know, yeah, it actually quite it, it is. And even on the enterprise side, what we're seeing is databases and things like that, you know, a lot of that is very compressible. So it just it doesn't help just the, the average user at home. But I, I would say in the enterprise and data center also, I, I think compression is huge at this point. Okay, and, and you also mentioned performance that uh, DuraWrite kind of has a, a side effect of, of, of increasing performance. Uh, is that because we're writing less to the drive? Oh yeah, definitely. Like I said, if, if I'm sending 10 gigs worth of whatever stuff, right, to, to the drive, and I can compress that into five gigs. We're writing less, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm effectively writing less and doubling the write speed. So okay. um, it, it is, it, it's a nice deal. I mean, DuraWrite to me is, Kind of again extending down like first performance, kind second. of second, but but it, it is a nice byproduct, yeah. Cool. Yeah.